Hey beautiful people, welcome back to our channel. This is Dreaming to Self, and um, today we're gonna do a video on dreams. You wanna say hi, babe? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, everybody? I'm not interpreting anyone's dreams, but we are gonna be talking about how to interpret your own dream. Kind of giving you like a guideline on how to do that for yourselves. The beginning of this YouTube journey, we have kind of shared with you guys how the Lord brought us together, or we even became an item before we were dating or anything like that. The Lord was giving us dreams about one another. And so we shared that with you guys. It's intrigued you guys, and you've been sending in dreams and telling us how much you've had dreams about who you believe is your future spouse. And we just wanted to talk to you guys about how to interpret that dream, just giving you those guidelines of how to do that. Make sure you watch the whole thing. It'll really help you and bless you. Um, it's one thing to get one or two points, but when you get all of them, it'll really help you, give you the, um, the foundation in order to do this. First off, we do wanna say that God gives you dreams to communicate with you. Um, most times it's after failed attempts otherwise. So sometimes the Lord is trying to get our attention and because he doesn't get our attention, maybe we are distracted, maybe there's a lot going on, maybe we're not really in that season where we are talking to him and spending time with him. We're not in the season of prayer and reading, reading the word. So he has to get it to a, uh, get our attention another way. And usually nine times out of 10, it's through a dream. I just want to go over the scripture reference for that. Job chapter 33, verse 14. It says, uh, for God speaks again and again, though people do not recognize it. He speaks in dreams and visions of the night when deep sleep falls on people as they lie in their beds. He whispers in their ears and terrifies them with warnings. He makes them turn from wrongdoing. He keeps, he keeps them from pride. He protects them from the grave, from crossing over the river of death. So that's just a scripture in the book of Job where it just it, uh, outlines how and why God uses dreams. And so whenever you do have dreams, don't think that it's coincidence. I don't think that, you know, um, it's what you ate. Uh, it's it, God is the giver of dreams and it's, it's a paramount. All of the Bible you see where dreams have been given. Abraham, Joseph, you see a lot of dreams in uh, the prophetic books, Daniel specifically. Um, so yes, God does give dreams and he, uh, the interpretation will generally come from him. And the reason why he gives it is because he's trying to get your attention about something. Um, our next point is that the Holy Spirit is the best interpreter of our dreams. It's a really good practice um, in for strengthening your relationship with him, period, and how you communicate with him. When you wake up in the morning, you just had a dream, you know, sometimes try to stay in bed as long as you can and say, okay, Lord, what was that? And usually when you're in that kind of mindset and like you've just woken up and you're laying there, um, you'll be able to really hear from him. It is okay to share your dream with people for interpretation, but make sure that that is not your sole means of getting your dream interpreted. It's too much room for error when you do that. And you're putting way too much trust in a human um, because we just have to be careful. You never want somebody to interpret your dream incorrectly and lead you astray. And you also just want to be careful because there is a, like you said, there's a bad side to taking your dreams to people, especially if they don't even acknowledge your dreams, then that's not the person you should take your dream to. Because honestly, if they don't, if they don't even acknowledge dreams or that God gives dreams or that, you know, um, dreams died out with the apostles or the first church or whatever the case may be, whatever they believe, that's their perception that they're going to give you if they even attempt to interpret your dream, which is going to just produce confusion. Yeah. So uh, if you do take your dream to someone, I'll be led in who you take it to because Holy Spirit can give you that. Like you'll, you won't know the interpretation, but he'll lead you to call someone or he'll lead you to talk to a particular individual. So let him kind of guide you in that way as well. If you were trying to learn how to play baseball, you don't go to the, the person who has only ever been a librarian in their, you know, in their life. Like go to the, go to someone who knows dreams or who has uh, some prophetic gift. The Holy Spirit lives within you. 
If you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit is within you. That means infinite knowledge and wisdom lives inside of you. So if someone is giving you an interpretation and it is not sitting right with you, trust that. If you are not feeling like this interpretation is true and really from the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit within you is kind of like, you know, uh -uh, this is not it. Your spidey senses is what I call them. Um, if they're telling you one thing, you go to the Lord and say, okay, why don't I feel good about this? What is this? And if it's a consistent, it just means that you probably just need to stop taking your dreams to those individuals. Not everybody is qualified to interpret your dream. Um, and for those of you who are wondering what that unsettlement feels like when something doesn't sit right with you, and I think, you know, as new Christians sometimes, or people that have been Christians for a while, they don't, they don't really, they can't gauge what the opposite of peace feels like. And my pastor really set me free, and he mentioned this years ago. He said, the opposite of peace, it's equivalent to being in the shower with your socks on. And when he said that, it was just like, oh my gosh. So now I identify that feeling every single time. So um, sim symbolism is used in dreams. I wanna say, like for me, in my personal life, my dreams are filled with symbolism. Usually when the Lord gives me a dream and it's a blue table in the middle of a field, God is not telling me that I need to go look for a blue table in the middle of a field or that's where I'm gonna find my next dining room table. Like, For instance, um, buildings and cars. So if you are having dreams about buildings, uh, it depends on what kind of building, um, what kind of building, meaning if it's a church, it means one thing. If it's a school, it means another. If it's a, an apartment building, if it's a rundown building, if it's broken down, if it's really luxury, all of those things are symbolic to, um, and they have meanings. Um, we're gonna share some books that we've read and that we use to interpret our dreams that are really, really filled with godly wisdom. At the end of the video, we'll show you them and all of that, and then we'll also put them in the description box. Cars. So typically when the Lord gives us dreams about cars, it's referring to ministry or purpose. Um, and depends on the car. If it's a fast car, that means one thing. If it's a truck, that means another. I've had dreams about trains. I mean, that kind of all falls under cars, like um, automotives or ways of transportation, right? Mm -hmm. Ross had dreams about um, airplanes. You may have a dream where the Lord is actually being literal. Because uh, I know maybe some of you have had dreams where you saw someone, you know, maybe in a car crash or mm -hmm. You saw someone who may be traveling from somewhere coming into town or something like that. It could be something that simple. And the vehicle, whether it's, you know, it could, it, it, it was actually a literal meaning. Uh, and so don't think that because the, you see a vehicle in a dream that it always represents a ministry. Sometimes the Lord will use it in different ways to kind of help convey a particular meaning. So as far as symbolism, the Lord will use certain things over and over again. Usually when my mother is in a dream of mine, um, she is symbolic for the Lord. Um, but then there are other times she is her. Um, she's usually God when she's very light and majestic and gentle and um, very quiet and meek. But when she's herself, usually she's spunky and kind of like sassy and kind of like her in her own essence. Okay, so also when it comes to interpreting dreams, the tone of the dream. What did the dream make you feel? What kind of dream was it? Uh, so for example, two dreams dream dreamt by two different people. One person in their dream, it's dark, but they have peace in whatever happened in the dream. Then in someone else's dream, it may be dark, but then there's something off something that they're fighting or something that, you know, they're either being chased or, um, you know, they're in a, some type of battle or something like that. So you notice the difference being what was the tone of the dream. So one in one dream, it was very peaceful and it was, you know, just things happening. And in the other dream, there was a lot of uh, hostility and clashing and fighting. So those are the things you have to take note of. Uh, in order to, like Fagan said, in order to help you understand what was the purpose of the dream. So um, when we're having dreams that people are in, the Lord is using a person, we're having a conversation with a person, or the, maybe the dream is about this particular person, you see them in the dream a lot, they stand out to you. It is really wise to ask yourself, okay, 
What does this person mean to me? How do they make me feel? Who are they to me? Their role in your life usually will indicate what their purpose in the dream was or what God is trying to tell you in the dream. How they make you feel, um, if it's a person that brings kind of a disdain or if it's a person that makes you feel happy, they make you feel protected. Um, all of these different things are things to kind of consider. Uh, these are the types of dreams. Um, and this is based on what uh, our pastor has taught on and also the books that, same books that we're gonna reference in this video. Um, the first one is a warning dream. Uh, just simply means the Lord is giving you a dream to warn you or warn, uh, warn someone about something that's about to happen. Um, whether it's some, whether it's going to happen quickly or whether it's, there's going to be a period of time before it happens. There are confirmation dreams. Uh, confirmation dreams is just simply you were given an answer about something and the dream is just confirming what you've already, what you've already received. You do have dreams where the Lord is simply answering a question that you had. You have uh, purpose or destiny dreams. Uh, these dreams are usually very, very graphic and they usually leave a very uh, strong imprint on your soul, a very strong imprint on your spirit. Um, these types of dreams are almost very hard to uh, forget uh, and uh, for good reason. The Lord wants you to understand the nature of that dream because it has everything to do with your future. You also have prophetic dreams or revelation dreams and these dreams can sometimes be about you or they could sometimes be about something else. Um, sometimes the Lord will give us dreams just to guide us. For instance, you may have a dream about seeing this particular woman wearing a red shirt or in the dream you do this when you see this woman that's wearing a red shirt and then this is the outcome. And then maybe two weeks later you see a woman the same woman or maybe a different woman wearing a red shirt and there's a choice you have to make and maybe the lord was showing you this is a choice to make and he was showing you the outcome of that choice or this is this is a choice not to make but direction it was guiding you yeah so i asked the lord last night um about a potential particular financial investment that i wanted to uh, get into and uh he gave me a dream and the interpretation was of the dream was to know don't do that because What's going to happen is if you get connected to this uh, this investment, uh, one, it's going to take something from you. It's going to be hard to try to get it back. Uh, you may lose it for good, and so uh, so that was that was not only an answering dream, an answer dream, but it was also a direction, mm -hmm. uh, a, a direction type dream where he was saying, no, don't do that you know leave that alone and so people i think like i said the meaning and the reason why we did this video is because i know you guys have heard our testimony about how the lord gave us dreams of one another before we met and it has helped guide us together it's helped get us to the point where we are now um and if you haven't seen that video i'll put that in the description box as well i think we did about two videos on that subject uh, thus far um, but they're really crazy dreams they're crazy ways the lord does radical things how he just does what he wants in our lives right and so it was just a wonderful way of him um, writing our love story um, but I want to just make it very very clear and this is in the most loving way if you guys have been a part of journeying to self subscribed thus far um, you know that I love you guys so very much and I anything but tell you the 100% truth and be 100% real with you um, not everyone gets dreams about their spouses and that's just the bottom line that may not be your story and we share our story to show you that God is sovereign, that he's omnipotent, that there is nothing that he can't do, there's nothing he won't do, and that he does what he wants. He can be what we call radical at times. So we share our story to show you to not put him in a box, to not say what he won't do. But we don't share our story for you to compare yourselves. You might be having a dream about a man or a woman, the Lord may be telling you that this is your husband or this is your wife, but a big possibility that he may not. There is another reason, another meaning behind them being in your dream. Um, and so we have to be really careful. And so I implore you to go before the Lord wholeheartedly 
not with your own intentions, not with this preconceived idea of what it is. And then you're really trying to just get confirmation from God. That is really dangerous because then the Satan can step in and make you believe anything he wants you to believe. Uh, it's a couple points I wanted to add on. Be careful what what you interpret your dreams to mean because scripture makes it, makes it very clear that you can be so enthralled mm -hmm. with something or, some, or someone that you can actually cause your mind to dream or to, to create a dream uh, of your own flesh. Mm -hmm. And those are, those are very dangerous dreams because you're not really submitted to the Lord. You're, you're simply... You only submit when it, it benefits you. Um, the scripture doesn't make clear, uh, and it doesn't really say that Satan was ever able to give anyone a dream. He was able to, He it makes it clear that he's able to give you a vision if you allow him access to you in that way, mm -hmm. but he can't give you a dream. So any dreams that you have generally come from the Lord, but you can, you can be so emotionally enthralled or connected to something or desiring something so badly that you'll actually create your own dream to fulfill the very desire of your own heart. Uh, we'd love to see your testimonies and how the channel has blessed you. Go ahead and share this video with anyone you think will benefit from it. And that is pretty much it. And uh, just for reference, I know we said we're gonna put it up. Oh yeah. We're gonna put it in the description as well, but uh, the first book that we mentioned um, is The Divinity Code. Uh, it is written by Adam Thompson and Adrian Beale. Uh, the second book is uh, Understanding, uh, it's the illustra Illustrated Dictionary of Dream Symbols, uh, and that's written by Dr. Joe Eboji. Um, these two books will, uh, they're, they're formatted so that you, uh, there's a, there's a uh, number of chapters uh, of teaching first, and then it goes into the dream, um, examples and then dream symbol examples, numbering systems, things like that. So um, most of you know that we go to Lionheart Church in Austell, Georgia. Um, our pastor has done a wonderful job at making sure that all of the sermons that he's preached on in the past um, that were like profound sermons, things that he wanted to keep are on the media page. So I will go ahead and put that in the description box as well. There is a whole entire dream and interpretation of dreams. There's a whole dream series on the page um, and it will go really deep and dive in to how to interpret dreams. If you guys really enjoyed this video, if it was helpful at all to you, please go ahead and thumbs up the video. YouTube algorithm loves thumbs up. So go ahead and do that so that more people can see videos like this. We wanna expand our journey to self family. A lot of you are watching but not subscribing. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, for more videos like these, we talk about relationships and allowing God to write your love story all the time. Um, if you guys have any questions about anything that we've mentioned, I love being in my comment section. Um, I even go ahead and give the phone to Ralph sometimes when those questions are directed to him. All right, that's everything that we have for you guys. Uh, again, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. If, you may, if you're not saved, uh, you can be. The Lord loves you and he wants to. He wants you to be a part of his family. Uh, he wants to save you. He wants to uh, deliver you from everything that you, you have issues with in this life. Uh, he's there for you. Uh, you can still reach out to us on there. You can reach out to us in the comments if you want to be saved, if you want to rededicate your life to Christ, or if you just want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues. Just reach out to us. All right, take care. We'll talk to you later.